spesso ammiriamo le barche per la loro bellezza. We often admire boats for their beauty, almost forgetting that their functioning and therefore our enjoyment and safety ultimately depend on the technical systems. Questo è Axopar. This is Axopar 37, one of the technical laboratories on sea of the Ultraflex Group, an Italian company with 85 years of experience and with production plants based in Italy and in the United States. Here we test both the products and systems designed and built by Ultraflex and the accessories and onboard equipment distributed by Uflex. Il timone è il principale organo di controllo. The rudder is the main control power. It is the connection between the individual and the boat. Through it we can establish affinity with the boat. This boat uses the Ultraflex Integra EPS system. Lo useremo per capire We will use it to better understand the level these instruments have reached up until now. It can manage up to four outboard engines from three different stations and all with a single control unit. It adopts a brushless DC electric motor, which is powered without sliding contacts that represent the weak part of an electric motor. The system is powerful and responsive, exactly what is needed with high performance engines. As soon as we move the rudder, an electric signal is transmitted to the stern, to the control unit, which activates the electric motor, which pumps oil into the cylinders to change the direction of the engines. There are no oil-filled pipes between the wheelhouse and the stern, only electric cables. On the cylinders, there is a sensor that indicates the position of the outboard. This is used to see the rudder angle on the display, but also to verify that the command given with the rudder has been correctly executed. Then, between the electronic wheelhouse and the control unit, there are two cables that transmit two digital CAN signals for a double control of the operation. In short, it's a redundant system. It is important that these systems have a low consumption. If we do not move the rudder, the electrical current absorption is almost zero. While operating, the energy required depends on the conditions of use and this system. If connected to two batteries, decides which one to draw energy from based on their charging status. This is also a double safety system, because if one battery goes into distress, there is the other one. Con questo sistema potete scegliere la durezza del timone e anche il With this system you can choose the hardness of the rudder and also the number of turns, meaning you can apply more or less force and you can have more or less rapid response. For example, at high speed it is better if the rudder is a little harder and that its reactions are very prompt, immediate. All adjustments are made via the video display. If you want, the system acts automatically according to the speed of the boat. We can also read various information on the display, navigation data, revolutions per minute, engine temperature and speed. The system interfaces with NEMIA 2000 protocol and two different lines also with the Ultraflex's Integra JSD joystick and Garmin's Reactor 40 steer-by-wire autopilot, as well as with the Garmin display. The system we have on board consists of two cylinders and the engines are connected by a coupling bar. But in reality, just one cylinder would be enough by using the bar that moves both outboards. Or two cylinders without the bar to use this joystick system which naturally needs independent mobility of the engines. Every slightest movement of the crown results in a shift in the direction of the engines. This system is very precise. On this Axopar 37, we have 700 horsepower, two Suzuki outboards with 350 horsepower each. So, when you have so much power available, it is important that the navigation system is really efficient that it is not only functional, but also reliable and safe. It is through the rudder that you perceive all the reactions, that you follow how the hull behaves and understand if you need to correct the direction, perhaps because you are running very fast and you need to face the waves in a different way, or maybe to fix the boat that is healing on its side. 
Questo scafo in realtà è una spada sul mare. The hull is a sword on the sea and therefore it holds the trajectory very well and having the stability to control the course with this precision is truly wonderful. When we go slowly to avoid an obstacle to make a maneuver, we like that the rudder is very reactive, that it responds promptly. So we want a calibration that allows us to turn it effortlessly. Yet when we go fast, when we go very fast, well the rudder must be stiffer, harder. The reactions must be even more precise. You can decide to have all this done automatically by the system, obviously configuring it first. All these adjustments are made automatically based on speed. Did you know that a steering wheel must meet the safety requirements? It must not be deformed. It must not break. It must not be dangerous for the hands. Well, this is a model that meets all these requirements. It belongs to a high-end series of Ultraflex, which is called Vero Volante Italiano, which means true Italian steering wheel, because they are models that have been created by Italian designers. They have been built with Italian products using Italian technology. On the navigation bridge, there is a joystick to manage the flaps. This is a much more intuitive command than the usual switches, because you just have to follow the symbols. For example, if you want to lower the bow, follow the arrow and move the control in this direction. You want to change the lateral heel act, as the arrow indicates. The system has an integrated GPS that allows you to configure the optimal trim positions during navigation. For example, depending on the speed, it may be necessary to adjust the flaps in a different way, and everything is done automatically. On this laboratory boat, we have an example of how even a small hull can be equipped with an air conditioning system. This is the Compact i10 by Velaire, a 10,000 BTU model suitable for rooms of 25 cubic meters. Here you can clearly see its dimensions. Naturally, to complete the installation, you need a cooling system with pump and seacock, and then the pipes for air distribution. It is a product of Uflex and has variable speed drive technology that allows you to lower the startup peak consumption and to reduce the power when the set temperature is reached, so consumption is reduced to 1.52 amps when fully operational. Theoretically, for a daily outing, there is no need to install the generator. A one kilowatt inverter connected to the service battery may suffice. It is a laboratory boat, and therefore all Ultraflex and Uflex products are tested here as well as the speakers and the audio system. This system is from Aquatic AV. You have to test if they are resistant to the sun, to the salt and to the water. On the navigation bridge, there is the GP1 control, which has a reduced thickness for ease of installation. Through Bluetooth, you can connect your smartphone to the system, which consists of a 288 watt amplifier that can power up to eight speakers and subwoofer and you can also choose different equalizations. Before putting its products on the market, the Ultraflex group tests them on its test boats with its technicians and its engineers in Italy and in the United States. Because for boats and for various systems, design is not enough. You can't just create a project on the computer. You must also test everything on the sea. You need to test while navigating on waters.